Nigeria is one of the fastest developing countries in Africa. With good numbers of Nigerians living abroad, the country is highly influenced by Western culture. It is safe to say that Nigeria is the US of Africa because of the ways of life of its citizens. Having the largest entertainment industry in the whole of Africa, you are most likely to find the trendiest fashion from around the world here in Nigeria. In recent years, plastic surgery has become common among the Western celebrities and non-celebrities. The most common procedure in the West are liposuction, linoplasty, lip filler, fat reduction on both face and body, breast implants, etc. For countries like South Korea and China, jaw implants, chin fat reduction, double eyelid are super popular there. In early 2010s, some Nigerian surgeons who studied abroad started establishing clinic here in the country. Being a country that is highly influenced by Western culture and a country that is so obsessed with beauty and looking good, it is not too hard to introduce plastic surgery to the people. Formerly, many Nigerians who obtained plastic surgery were ashamed to admit having obtained plastic surgery. However, recently, anyone who got plastic surgery loves showing it off on social media. A large majority of Nigerian celebrities have gone through the knife. The common plastic surgery procedure here in Nigeria are liposuction and breast implants. This is because most Nigerian men are so obsessed with curvy women. In recent years, like from 2020 to this year, Nigerians are beginning to get lip filler, jaw injection, nose filler, and bottles. If you are familiar with plastic surgery like myself, you can tell that almost all the cast of the Real Housewives of Lagos had some job done on their body with the most common procedure being liposuction. I mean, liposuction is the most common uh, plastic surgery procedure obtained here in Nigeria. Let's start with toying. So, toying often refers to shoma as shoma plastic doll. Toying calls shoma plastic because shoma had a lot of plastic surgery done. However, toying is not an exception. She had breast implants and liposuction. Looking at Tony's breast from some of the pictures she uploaded on Instagram, you can clearly see the implants sitting on her chest. Looking at the hip and her laps, you can also see that she has some fat pump in there. It's up to you if you want to believe or not. I'm not forcing you. I'm just like stating the facts. Let's move on. Yabo. Yabo is definitely a definition of young forever, but she also had some job done. I have not seen Yabo up close or without makeup, so I can't tell if she had any facial surgery done. However, she had liposuction and breast implants. Caroline. Caroline also had liposuction done. Her face is still looking the same like she used to be when she was in the Nollywood. So I don't think she had anything done on her face. Lola. It is hard to tell if Lola did liposuction or not because she does not show off her body that much on social media. If there's anything she did on her body, that should be 360 fast reduction. But she had jaw filler and nose bridge filler. Personally, I prefer linoplasty to nose filler and jaw implants to filler because filler is not permanent. It does move after some time. Like after some time, it starts like shifting from the original spots to other parts of your face. And when this happens, that means you're about to get bored. Shoma. Shoma is the cast with most procedure done. You can check my full video about her. The only cast of the show that is natural is Miriam. From her big boobs 
to her tiny body and face. I'll end this video by saying that plastic surgery is not a sin. Everyone does it. Almost all celebrities all over the world have obtained one kind of plastic surgery or the other. Finally, this video is not meant to shape anyone. Like I know that, that most of you guys often misunderstand simple video. Like if you cannot take this kind of video, it's better you don't click on it. It's not every video that's that is on YouTube is meant to shade anybody. And it's not every video someone put up is done out of hatred or out of spite. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you guys in my next video. Bye.